Hello, I'm Alexander Zenzian. I'm the Executive Director of Mills Performing Arts, and I want to welcome you to Lister Hall. Uh, follow me. Lister Hall was opened in 1901, and when the building opened, you're actually standing on stage right now. The entrance was on the other side of the building. Uh, the building was renovated in the 20s to add the stage house that we know, and these entrance was added on this side. The ceiling got put in at that time. It served as the uh, balcony seating for the stage on the far side of the theater. In the 70s, we had the renovation of the building. We added this wall here. You might remember it used to have a door to the center that would take you to the theater. That allowed us to add this floor above my head here, which offered us the small theater upstairs, which we'll see at the end of the tour. When the building when we was flipped, the cornerstone was moved, and we again moved the cornerstone when we did the major renovation in 2018. Now there was quite a lot of excitement when the inside the cornerstone was found a time capsule, and perhaps some disappointment when that time capsule was turned over and water spilled out of the side. Uh, now it's chosen to open it right up, kind of like a can. You'll see it lives in this case over here in the side of our lobby. Most of the contents were paper. And we're lucky that Karen Fine uh, had her camera, her phone in her pocket and was able to take many photographs of that documentation as it came out. And that is the artwork that is on the walls of our lobby. Lovely pieces that speak to the passage of time. And this play brings you to the main theater. The theater was renamed the Marilyn MacArthur Holland Performance Theater following the renovation in 2018. One of the exciting choices that was made during the renovation was to revert to having a flat floor. Similar to the, as the building was originally commissioned in 1901, it was the meeting space on campus. So this room was used not just as a theater, but as a meeting house, as a gathering place, as a chapel. Um, so this choice to revert to having a flat floor while putting in place a movable riser seating system that gives us 267 seats um, for the small proscenium house, really is a, a, a chance to give the building a more versatile performance space. It allows us to use the main floor for dance classes. The entire floor is a wooden sprung floor. Uh, likewise, we can use it for installation, performance in the round, uh, anything that maybe doesn't live so well up on the proscenium stage. Additionally, in the renovation, the old orchestra pit that had previously been a step down from the stage was, was raised and able to be added at the same level as the stage, giving us a 40-foot deep proscenium space. We have our partners at Meyer Sound were quite generous in assisting us in putting in place a new Meyer Sound system as well. So the room has top-notch sound, a new AV network resides in the walls, allowing us to easily patch in new projectors, new media sources, new media outputs, anywhere in the building where there's a jack in the wall. Really helpful, really interesting new system to take this building into the modern age of theater technologies. If you'll follow me, I can walk you upstairs. We'll go to the digital performance theater. We were also very fortunate in the renovation to be able to upgrade our bathrooms. We now have a separate women's, all gender, and men's bathroom with uh, more facilities than were previously present. And then right this way into the digital performance theater. This black box theater has 85 seats and is really envisioned to be a, a space to host technical installations and technical laboratory work in the dance and theater studies department, theater department, art department. Um, as you recall, uh, I mentioned that this was previously the front of the building. So if you look here, you'll see the original uh, proscenium march from when the theater uh, faced the other direction. And then last of our two, we'll walk through the sound porch and the lighting control room for the main theater.
Here's our sound porch with open air sound to, to mix the sound for the room. Ellen Glen and Boyle's Terrace was added, providing both full ADA access to the building and a beautiful outdoor space, Creekside under the Redwoods to host receptions and uh, in general for students, faculty, staff, community, uh, alumna to enjoy here on the Mills campus. So thank you for uh, taking the time to see our building. I'll look forward to seeing you on campus. <laughs>